So I went to a secret underground restaurant. You will never know where it is unless you ask me and give me a hundred dollars. And I will give up such private information to a person such as yourself. Maybe 200 is a good price for this. You can call me your concierge of delicious Mexican food. It's a fiesta in there. There's plenty of tables and the service is great. And then when you get thirsty, you go and help yourself from the fridge where they keep the baby milk. I'm just kidding. But there is a fridge, you get your own sodas. So. We start off by taking a super long time looking at this menu. It's really far away, but I could almost see it. It's not that I really can't see it. It's that I want everything on that menu, but I'm trying to decide what not to eat. So I tell them in Spanish, I'll take everything. Minus birria, menudo, pozole. But I'll take everything else. Gracias. And then I continue to order dessert and beverages. Enough to feed two. But I tell the guy it's just for me. Don't give them any of my sodas. They're for me. Only. So that's the menu again. This is what we end up with. So we got two tacos, one tripe, one beef head. And then we have an order of mole flavored enchiladas with tons of chicken in there. It's breast, white breast meat, boiled, shredded, and there is a lot in there. My nephew got the quesadilla with the beef tongue. And on top, this has some lettuce. It has sour cream. That is very fresh and very good. It's not sour. It's actually more sweet. But the cheese gives it a nice salt. The mole, although I'm disappointed, it doesn't taste like that mole sauce you get from the jar. It's actually very nice. It tastes a, a little bit like pumpkin. It has a little pumpkin flavor. I don't know if that was just me or that for the first time in a long time, I'm trying real homemade mole sauce. And I take a spoon and I steal some of my dad's menudo. I take a bite of that. He told me that other piece is um, Feet's pig. So I go back for that. And then I just stare at how he eats his food. Look at him enjoying that thing. That's a handmade tortilla. He dips it in the food and then he dips it in the sauce. This guy knows how to eat. And that's how I learned. And so that's what I'm doing. I go for the tripe, then I go for the beef head, and then things just even get even more and more amazing. I'm trying to explain to my nephew that he needs to eat more. But then I keep distracting him, trying to film him eat more. So then his dad reprimands him for not eating. And he starts eating. He's only eating a shell, a little trickster. This is really an underground secret restaurant. You wouldn't even know. Other than all the people eating in there and all the food. I try to sneak in a little bit of the kitchen, but I love these people. We're all church family. And I just can't give them up, so I won't tell you their address. 
unless you slide in two hundred dollars my donations i can send you my snapchat venmo instacart uber eats all sort of accounts you That's send that money cool. over look up here and i'll show you There's exactly where this place is right here my nephew even approves was it See? good all right believe it Then, like a responsible people, we go for a walk, not a run, not a jog, a very slow, painful, fat people walk. But then we make the little one run around so he doesn't get fat like us. And we show him tricks. And it works out. Thank you for watching. See you next time.